What's up guys, welcome to Synthetic Reverberations. This is our live show and we just wanted to take you kind of behind the scenes, uh, introduce ourselves and just kind of talk about what this show is and why we're doing it. I'm Ethan Good, um, I'm a photographer and a visual artist and this show is an immersive experience of, of our work. And I'm here with uh, my good friend, very talented composer, uh, Jordan Samson. So I've been studying uh, how to compose, but also improvise. Uh, in the amb ambient genre, started working under films for a little a little while now. But this is a unique experience because the the visuals are very abstract, uh, which really lends itself to the ambient improvisation that I do. So I think it's really cool that we're able to find like a similar level of abstraction in the visual medium as well as uh, in music. For this show, I'm going to be doing ambient electric violin. A few musicians are going to be joining me. Uh, Cole Killam on electric guitar and uh, Mark Bennett on keys. We'll also be playing to some of my pre-recorded pieces. But while those are playing, I will also be improvising on top of them. So n nothing in the show is going to be something that you would just pull up on YouTube and watch back from front to back. All of it's going to be either us building on pieces I've already written or doing fully improvised session. We're gonna do a section in the middle where we're both improvising, uh, both visually and from the sound side. Uh, that'll be really exciting. That's very, it's very new. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. For me, this all started actually as just like a total mistake. Um, I took a picture with an old Polaroid camera and it printed out weird and the Polaroid like developed in this crazy way and it created this like really weird abstraction piece and I was like oh my god that is so beautiful how do I recreate this and I then spent the next I don't know like six months trying to figure it out and really got a hold of it through all that and just some some other research just found artificial intelligence machine learning uh, which is a mouthful um, but then learned how to take these scans of these Polaroids and put them into this machine learning software and then create these really beautiful moving elements that are just this really beautiful combination of these two primary mediums, which is like the analog world. Polaroids are you know, non-digital before the digital age and then this fully digital uh, component of AI machine learning and just like, marrying the two and it creates these like really amazing just very immersive very captivating videos that then coupled with jordan's music uh just really like brings it alive so the show is going to be the polaroid videos with six projectors projected onto all the walls around us um, i want to give a huge thank you and shout out to uh, my friend cameron from lightwear labs uh, for helping us with these projectors and, and figuring all that side of the show out. It's it's an actual experience to, to see it. It's not just like walking and, and looking at a print or just watching a video on YouTube like you said. Yeah. Like it's a it's an actual experience. It's a place to like come and and just like be inspired and have a good night and have a cocktail and talk with friends and yeah come and just be inspired by the art and by what we're doing. We want you to come and bring a sleeping bag or a blanket or a pillow. It's gonna just be seating on the floor. So at the show, there's also going to be prints that I have that will be available. These prints are going to be the scans of the original Polaroids um, before they were put through the machine learning process. And due to the COVID restrictions of the venue, we are limited to 45 seats per show. So the venue is asking that we all wear our masks during the show and during the time that we are in the building. If we sell out of all those tickets before October 22nd, we will open up an earlier matinee show from 3 to 5 p.m. that day and then continue to have this show as well from 7 to 9 on the same day. So the show is going to be on Saturday, November 6th. We'd love for you to come.